How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to get Firefox on the new Kindle Fire HDX as well as on the 8.9 inch. Now to do this, the first thing you want to do is go to your settings and if we just swipe up here, it's not here. Actually we're going to swipe down from the top. We're going to go to settings. We want to go to applications. You want to make sure apps from unknown sources is turned on. Once that is turned on, we're going to go back home. And we want to get to this app right here, which is called One, One Mobile Market, which you will find also in your apps section. Now, if you don't have this app, that is totally okay. Uh, you want to pause this video. You want to check the description of this video, or there might be an annotation. And you want to watch the video on how to get One Mobile Market on your Kindle Fire HDX. This is a third-party app store that will give you access to a lot of the more mainstream apps that you do not see in the Amazon App Store. So... Uh, go ahead and watch that video. When you finish, come back. And then, uh, for those of you that do have it, we're going to move on. We're going to mark it. So we're going to go in here. And the first thing you will see when we open it up is this front screen like this. We will go to the upper right corner. We're going to tap on the magnifying glass and type in Firefox. And we're going to hit search. And bam, there it is, Firefox, Firefox browser for Android. Go ahead and tap on that, and then download. It will start downloading. Now again, the cool part about this is you don't have to sit here and watch it and wait. As soon as it is finished downloading, it will automatically prompt and ask you, do you want to install Firefox? So wait a couple of seconds, bam, there it is. We're gonna hit next, install. App install, we're going to tap open, and here we are. We have a full Firefox layout here on our Kindle Fire HDX. So, uh, a lot smoother experience than the Silk browser that does come on the Kindle Fire. And for those of you that are used to using Firefox, um, you know, it's just a kind of a smoother experience. So, uh, anyway, I like it, and I trust that you guys will. That's why you're watching the video. Last thing you want to do is swipe down from the top. Go to your settings and go back to applications and turn off apps from unknown sources. You don't always want to keep this on just temporarily when you download something. All right, hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Also, favorite it and share it. Make sure you also follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash h2techvideos and on Instagram at h2techvideos. Look out for our holiday giveaways. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a good one.